on high tide. Isn't this great, huh? I rented out the shop to a TV production company. Hey, look out! You want to get little brother out of the way so you two can have a nice, cozy little evening together, huh? This creep has been sending me these really weird love letters. Ooh, are you with the crew? No, I, I need to uh, talk to Heather. You tried to kill me? Look out! Cornered in Harbor Bank, request backup. Oh my God, it's Pepper. I want to beat up another driver. We've got 20 seconds to check by me. Where's my backup? Hey, where do you think you're going? That's my kid's sister he's got. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to sit around and wait for a bunch of donut eaters. By the time your backup gets here, she'll be dead. You're not a cop anymore, Michelle. Well, then I guess I don't have to take orders anymore, do I? Here, take this. What, your socks? No, your gun. Thanks, Pete, but you know I hate guns. Ten more seconds.
Hey, hey, what is going on here? Bikini Patrol. What? Didn't you tell him? Tell me what? And who's this? Oh, this is Annie's friend, Patty. She's going to be filling in for her while Annie's away. Oh, right. Hi, how you doing? I'm Mick. Of course. You're... You look just like Joey's brother. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isn't this great, huh? I rented out the shop to a TV production company. No. Oh, come on, Mick. It's just for a couple of days. Besides, it's my favorite show, Bikini Patrol. <laughs> I don't care if it's NYPD, Beach Blanket, Bingo, no! Mick, come on, it's with Heather Landis. You know, I haven't seen her since that unfortunate little incident in high school. We'll talk about this after I shower. Nice to meet you, Patty. You went to high school with Heather Landis? Oh, yeah, I almost took her to the senior prom. Almost? Oh, yeah, we had this little misunderstanding. You see, there was this tropical storm up from New Zealand, and it was breaking off K-38. The surf was about 10, 12 feet high, and you know how it is. Surf, surfers... I can't believe this. You stood up Heather Landis. Yeah, she wouldn't even talk to me after that. Couldn't even apologize. I better go cool Mick off before he blows this whole thing. Men. No, it's fun. No, no, no. no you're going to love it. Brian, it's me. Trust me, all right? Great. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, you're a little early. Atmosphere's not due here for about another hour. I'm not atmosphere. I own the place. Are you in charge here? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Larry Brisket, co-executive producer. Good to meet you. I just wanted to thank you for uh, letting us kind of take over your little shop for the next couple days, Joey. It's nice. First of all, it's Mick. And second, I don't think you understand. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I've been talking to a Joey Barrett. That's me. And his signature is on this contract. If you keep doing this, I'm going to break your fingers. And as you can see, the contract is binding. Yeah, well, so is cheese. I want all these people out of here. Mick, is it? Look around here, Mick. I got trucks, I got crews, I got cameras, I got cast, I got people all over the place. You try and pull out now, and you're going to find yourself on the expensive end of a very nasty lawsuit. Get those clothes racks out of here. And, and those shoes. What kind of a surf shop sells shoes? Hey, ours does. And the surfboards, they're too small. We're doing bikini patrol, not door pens 10. Get me real surfboards? Big ones. Hey, those are real surfboards. Who are you, and why are you speaking to me? I own this store. Why? I knew this was going to happen. Oh, ho, ho, ho. check it out. Uh. Oh, Ooh. I'm sorry. Huh. My fault. Oh, is it always this hectic? Usually. You don't work on the show, do you? Uh, I own the place, uh, Joey Barrett. B, Reynolds. I'm the writer. Oh, so you know Heather Landis? No. As I said, I'm the writer. Is she going to be here soon? Believe me, you'll know when she gets here. She's here. Golden Globe nominee coming through. Larry, do you want my special lunch? Yeah. Uh, the lunch will be ready. We've got the, uh, the organically grown chicken, just like you asked for. No skin on no the chicken. No skin is bad. We know that, right? <laughs> OK, we really have to go. Thank you very much for coming down. We really appreciate it. Don't forget, Thursdays at 9, we love you people. Are you the crew? No, I, I need to uh, talk to Heather. Yeah, you and 20 million other homely guys. Behind the barricade, please. But I, I need to see Heather. I, I, well, I had this letter for her. Well, Here. There's a mailbox on the corner. I heard that works. Please. You know, Mick, she's not all that special. Well. She is the star of a major TV show. Bikini Patrol, please. 
It's demeaning to women. Besides, it's just an excuse to get a bunch of girls lying around in bikinis for no other reason than to be exploited as ornamentation. What's the matter with her? I don't know. I think she's being ironic. Oh. Here she is. Okay, here's the rundown for New York. I got you booked. I'm Larry King. Larry King? <laughs> Larry King is such a bore. Those heart attacks and wives, not to mention the suspenders. Can't you get me on the Howard Stern show? You know, we are like brothers. The whole long hair thing, that was my idea. I'll make a call. What's wrong with the changes? You've got the most lines, don't you? B. Look at page six. My character would never say that. Well, sure she would. In fact, she does right there. Um, Heather. What? Hi. You may not remember me. Of course I remember you, Joey Barrett, right? Right. The pimply-faced geek who stood me up for the prom. Uh, that was a rash. That, that was a pimples. Nice to see you again, Joey. Are you all right? Yeah. What the hell was that? Find out if anyone recognized that vehicle and find out who the hell was driving it. Now go. Look, I didn't know if that was an accident or not, but... Are you nuts? You could have pushed her right in front of that thing. I think I just saved your life, pal. Shut up, Larry. You did save my life. Don't tell me to shut up in front of other people. Let's just go back to your dressing room and we'll... Larry, I want him to take me back to my dressing room. They do not like that guy. Yeah, right now, either do I. She okay? All settled in? Yeah. Great. Are you mad? I'm not mad. You are, I can tell. Okay, so I'm a little mad. She's obviously trying to make me jealous. <laughs> she's what? Yeah, she remembers what happened. Now she's trying to get back at me by making a play for you. I just hope you don't fall for her act. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Hey, bro, she's not that good an actress. All right, let's quickly make this easy to hold up great, all right? Everybody quiet for rehearsal. You'll enter and hit this mark here, love. Very quiet. Here we go. And action! Pepper! Look out! I came as soon as I got... Oh. Oh. You okay? I think so. grabbed it just as easy as you did. Well, why didn't you? You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Making me jealous. No, Joey, get a grip. An actor was badly hurt. So it was just his head? His face is fine? No, I don't think this was an accident. This looks like a clean cut to me. I think you're right. Did you have to hold her so tight, though? Hey, Hasselhoff, Heather wants to talk to you. <laughs> Knock, knock. Oh, hi. You said you wanted to see me? Yeah. Can I uh, get you a drink? Don't have much here, but I did find a so so bottle of scotch. Uh, actually, the good stuff's on the shelf there behind the crunching lunch. I live here. I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. No. No, it's, it's shameful. You should be pouring me a drink. I want to thank you for saving my life twice. You're welcome. It's no big deal. It's a big deal to me. Oh, God, not again. What's that? 
This creep has been sending me these really weird love letters. Larry says it comes with the territory of being a somebody. Yeah, well, he's probably right. Yeah, well, territory or not, it's scaring the hell out of me. Did you have one? A little early in the day for me. Has this guy ever threatened you? Uh, no. No, it's nothing like that. It just, uh, just gives me the creeps. You know, if you don't have a bodyguard already, you probably should get one. Good idea. You're hired. Oh. Well, I'm a surfer. I'm, I own a surf shop. Come on, Nick. I know you were a cop. We're only going to be here for the remainder of the week. Just watch out for me during the shoot. You really should hire a professional. I don't want some hired gun who's just looking for an opportunity to sell a story to the tabloids. I need somebody I can trust. Well, I trust you. I don't know. And I'm sure you'd be a little cheaper than your scotch. <laughs> You're drinking the expensive bread. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know. Nick, don't tell Larry this, but, uh... This is scaring the hell out of me. Please? How is she? She's okay. She's pretty tough. Oh, and her master plan to make you jealous is progressing nicely. Oh, really? Yeah, she just hired me to be her bodyguard. Oh. Oh, man. You're, um, uh, uh Joey. Joey Barrett. Joey Barrett. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, I've been watching you from over there, Joey. Now, you got to look. He does? I do? Yeah. I'm a guy that discovered Heather Landis, and I can tell these things just by looking. Look at my fist. It's a monkey. It reminds you of your childhood. It makes you sad. Let me see that. It's good. You've done some acting, haven't you? Only during exams, acting sick. <laughs> You're funny. That's a plus. You know the guy that's playing the role of the uh, aquamarine specialist in there? The one you just carted off to the hospital? Yeah. It turns out he's not really working out as well as we would have hoped, and unfortunately, we're going to have to let him go. How would you like to take over his role? You want me to be in the show? That's right. Oh, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really have a head for memorizing lies. Not a problem, not a problem. Turns out, because of all this excitement today, we're running way behind. We're not going to shoot these scenes until tomorrow. And so you got all night to work on your lines. What do you say? <laughs> B! B, come here. This is Joey. He's taking over the role of the sporting goods engineer tomorrow. Hunk number two. Right. I wondering if you could spend some time with him, help him work out the arc of his character. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, you're a guy who looks good without a shirt. She's good. You listen to her. All right. Can you be here tomorrow morning at 8 for makeup? Well, yeah, I live here. Right. Hey, right. Great. All right, then. Well, looks like we're both in Florida. Yeah. But, uh, your crew and, well, I'm Cal. <laughs> I don't understand why you wanted to go over your lines here. Well, I just thought it'd be more relaxing to get away from all the hustle and bustle of the set. <laughs> and besides, the craft service food had sand in it. <laughs> OK. Well, it's right after Michelle's speech about what it was like to be the only woman on the police force and why she dropped out. Tanya hands you a $5 bill. Then you give her the bag with the snorkel in it. And then you say, thank you. Come again. Brilliant. That's exactly how I heard it in my head when I wrote it. Uh, that, that's it. Uh, thank you, come again. That's it. Uh, Landis party two. Hmm. It's OK with you? I thought they said there were no tables in that room. They're not with Heather Landis. No 
kidding. Don't you have an early, um, what is that? Uh, Call. Call, right. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Look, you're my bodyguard, not my mother. We need some more. No, no, I've had enough. <sighs> You've had quite a few. Oh, well, I'm drowning my sorrows. <laughs> Look at them. Lobster and champagne. She should have been my date. In high school. So I'm a little late. <clears throat> Hold the fort, will you, for a minute? Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> you again? Yeah. Boy, this is nice. You got uh, lobster here and champagne. Looks like the good stuff. Just like we would have had at our prom, had we had one. Joey, I hate to burst your champagne bubble, but after that one night, I never gave it another thought. Well, you, you slapped me in the face. <laughs> that had nothing to do with the prom. I just felt like slapping you. <laughs> Come on, you gotta get some sleep. Got a big day tomorrow. Oh, I get it. Two's company and three's a crowd. All right, listen, Mick. Uh, I won't be offended if you want to leave. I want mixed company. Come on. We'll talk about this in the morning. Oh, I see. You want to get little brother out of the way so you two can have a nice, cozy little evening together, huh? I'm no fool. <laughs> no, but you're in the neighborhood. Did you go sleep it off? You. Would have had a good time. <laughs> you know, he's really... Irritating? <laughs> no, he's a good guy. No, he's a great guy. I wouldn't have picked any other brother. Except maybe one of the Marx brothers. I mean, he does have Grasso's eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a chance. That what? Yes, I did. I have a Japanese elbow from porn. Yeah, I agree. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, This is a good idea. I don't see a wedding ring. No. Got a girlfriend? No. Well, then. What was that? I don't know. Mac. Stay here and lock the door behind me.
I'd get you in my bed. Whoa, whoa, whoa don't sit up too quickly. <sighs> what happened? I don't know. I, I heard a noise and I found you unconscious. I think you fell. You've been out for hours. I was really getting worried about you. Is this better? Oh, oh hey, no, 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 no. Uh, don't sit up too quickly. Uh, I think you might have cracked some ribs. Did you wrap me like this? Once played a nurse in a TV movie. Victoria Principal is such a doll to work with. God, it's a boozed up Freddy Krueger. What are you doing here? Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me, I don't recall inviting you in. Listen, Heather, don't play games with me. I know you're just trying to make me jealous by having Mick up here in your bed. Joey, get out of here. I don't think so. You need a cup of coffee, real big one. Look, I didn't come up here to disturb you guys. I just thought you might want to see this. I found it outside. Oh, God. I think you just crossed a fine line between fan and deranged stalker. Look, I want you to stand guard outside Heather's door tonight, all right? Not the minibar door, the front door. Outside, huh? Yeah. Just what are you two going to be doing? I am going to be looking for this guy. Come on. Nice outfit, honey. It is. Our shot. No, mine. Well, it doesn't belong to any of us. Well, I'll see if I can find out who owns it. If he doesn't lock it, it's going to belong to the first kid with the screwdriver. All right, let's get us the tow truck here. The director's going to be here any minute. We've got to move this thing now. Bodyguard, you are. Hey, I'm non union. You get what you pay for. <laughs> Great, a scab bodyguard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tanya. I play Pepper. Hi, I'm Joey. I play Axel Stevenson. Axel Stevenson? I don't remember that character in the script. Well, actually, it's man behind counter, but I just thought if I gave him a name, you know, I'd be able to bring more life to my character. Hi, Joey. Hi. Tanya, some last minute revisions? Oh, no. B, you have to stop doing this. It's not my call, it's Heather. She didn't make you cut my lines again, did she? No, not this time. As a matter of fact, you have more to do in the scene now. Wow, that's a switch. Uh, B, shouldn't I get a copy of those as well? Uh, no, Joey. Your line is still the same. Thanks. That's company. I say this goes way beyond being a fan. Well, we sure. 
sure no fan of mine. Hi, Heather. Is Mick back yet? No. Listen, could we, you know, drop all of this and have a little chat? <laughs> Look, don't you need a beer for that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> Look, about that little prom thing. Oh, we're back to that again. Well, I never really got a chance to apologize. I had a good reason. Look, I'm, I'm sure you did. But I'm running really late, and I gotta get downstairs, okay? Hey! Am I correct, but did I hear you got a line in the show? Yeah. Try not to forget that. <laughs> she reaches into the bag. This is the last time you make me look like a fool. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come again. So, oh, B, B, check this out. Thank you. Come again. Incredible. To see one of my characters come alive off the page like that. <laughs> Are you the guy that owns this place? One of them, why? Yeah, um, do you know if there's any phone jacks upstairs? Phone jacks? Yeah, some phone company guy asked. Uh, there's, uh, three phone jacks. Oh, good, thanks. Yeah. Hi, Tide. Hey. Yeah, I love her boy's not home. You should see this place. Guy's got it bad. Well, you think he's dangerous? Tell you the truth, I don't know. Could be just a lovesick fan. Yeah, well, that's what they said about John Hinckley Jr. Yeah, you're right. Is Heather okay? Yeah, she's upstairs. Oh, hey, how many phone jacks have we got up there? Three, what? Uh, just some crew guy was asking, said that there was a phone repair guy upstairs. Joey, get to Heather's side and don't leave her till I get there. Well, what's the matter? Romeo works in the phone company. Boy. People, we're five minutes away. Five minutes. Larry, will you check on Heather? ready for you downstairs. I don't want to know when they're just about ready, Larry. I want to know when they're ready, ready. Ready, ready. Right. You know, that is your color. It brings out your eyes. All right, come on. Let's go, guys. Oh! Dressing room. Go around back. 
I believe he wasn't gonna hurt Heather. So why'd he jump you last night? Thought I was hitting on his girl. His girl? Yeah, to him, she's his girl. The guy's sick. Doesn't belong in jail, he belongs in the hospital. Well, maybe a hospital inside of you. Okay, 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 I think we've had enough excitement for one day. Somebody get this guy to make up. Have fun, bro. I don't care. That wasn't part of the deal. Garrett. 51, 152, 253. Okay, happy? It's the last time I pull a scrap for you, Larry. Yeah. Little early for payday, didn't it, Larry? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh, my job. Heather's bodyguard, remember? <laughs> oh, really? And what's that supposed to mean? Well, that uh, stunt man. He's pretty good at handling stunt vehicles. Ooh, you're good. You hired him to scare Heather. <laughs> really? And why would I do that? Because you're in love with her. You wanted to save her from the quad runner, but I got in the way. Something like that? You know, you are nuts, you know that? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Where'd you get that? Same place I got this. Give me this. Shouldn't leave your car unlocked. Since it could have been a matter of life and death, I took the liberty. She refused your proposal, so you thought maybe if you could save her life, play the hero, she might reconsider. But your plan backfired and somebody got hurt. I had nothing to do with that light. That was an accident. I checked. Somebody cut it. It was not me. I swear to God, it was not me. Who the hell was it? I don't know. All right. Very quiet, please. Rolling film. And action. Joey, that's your cue, love. Take the money. Hendrix, please. Thank you. Come again. This is the last time you make me look like a fool. What? That's not in the script. What the? What are you doing? I'm just pointing an unloaded gun at you, B. Right? Well, what's the matter, B? You look scared. There isn't anything to be afraid of, is there? What the hell is going on here? Hold on, That's hold not on, in the hold script. On. So, B, I can just pull this trigger here and nobody's gonna get hurt, right? This is crazy. Could somebody please make him put that gun down? Well, why? Could it be that somebody put real bullets in here? No! I loaded the gun with real bullets. What? Yeah, B did a little rewriting in the co-star script. In this version, Pepper kills Michelle. You tried to kill me? And you saved me. Are we still rolling? Oh, yeah. It's not the first time, is it? The light that fell yesterday. Why? Why not? You get all the glory, the fame, the money, and you treat me like dirt. You're a writer. You are dirt. I hate you! <laughs> Wait, come on! This is costing me money! Boy, God, that turns me temperamental. 
Mai Tai. We'll be right back. Bikini Patrol. We'll be right back. Commercial. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Don't change it. It's a commercial. Yeah, but my scene is coming up. I don't want to miss it. Better not blink, either. Ha, ha. Hey, see the nice then flowers that Heather sent me? With a magical oh, I forgot to tell you. She called today. She did? Did she leave her number? Guaranteed she didn't call for you. Shine like what do you mean? She did, long. however, want me to tell you, congratulations. She thought you were terrific in the part. Yeah? But mainly she called for me. You! Oh, she's going to Hawaii next month. She wants to know if I want to join her. Your friends will say How's your bodyguard, right? We can tell. Mick? It's back. Thank you. Come again. Ah! That's not my voice! They dubbed me! <laughs> Don't be stupid. I've been stupid long enough. Next on High Tide. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be there. It's a straight run. What could happen? Stop the car! Did your car break down? Yeah. Get in. Hurry. Left the face of danger for me. You know, there's got to be some way out of this. You guys take us where we want to go. We'll be back late Sunday night. Chris, I'm Detective McEvely. The cops are there. Stay tuned for TV2 Eyewitness News here on Channel 38.